Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. One late night in the spring of 2025, in the laboratory of Shenzhen Bantian Base, engineer Li Ming stared at the waveform jumping on the screen, and the coffee in his hand had already cooled down. Suddenly, the alarm stopped abruptly, and a line of green data passed by SMIC's DUV lithography machine, through five exposures, for the first time engraved a 5 nanometers transistor structure on domestic equipment. The laboratory was boiling instantly. Some people smashed cups, some jumped onto the laboratory table, and more people hugged with red eyes. This moment was engraved into the breaker, Memorial Wall of Huawei Semiconductor Research Institute, becoming the hottest footnote in the history of Chinese chips. Micron War in Despair Three years ago, on the rainy night, when the United States cut off the supply of EUV lithography machines, Ren Jingfei wrote a line of words at an internal meeting, use physical formulas to harden the technical blockade. No one could have imagined that this oath would be realized in such a dramatic way. SMIC engineers squeezed the potential of immersion DUV lithography machines to the extreme, using five exposure techniques to pile the transistor density of the 7 nanometers process to 102 million millimeter squared and embroidered 5 nanometers precision on the silicon wafer. Behind this is the crazy trial and error of 100,000 parameter adjustments and the extreme demand for the temperature of the phase shift mask to be controlled at 0.01 degrees Celsius. In the fall of 2024, the Mate 70 series equipped with the Kirin 9020S chip was born. When the evaluation agency disassembled the mobile phone and found that everything from the RF chip to the storage unit was marked Made in China, the Wall Street Journal exclaimed with a front-page headline, The Semiconductor Iron Curtain is Collapsing. The performance of this chip exceeds that of Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite in the same period, but the power consumption is reduced by 40%, just like growing a rose in the desert. In the super factory in Lin Gang, Shanghai, a device engraved with Shinkai Lai SAQP7 is roaring. This once unknown Jiangsu company has now become the secret weapon of Huawei's chip manufacturing. The quadruple self-aligned architecture it developed allows DUV equipment to do the work of EUV, and the miracle of controlling the temperature fluctuation of the photoresist at plus or minus 0.5 is like a precision ballet performed at the nanoscale. In Wuhan's Yangtze memory, a flash memory revolution is quietly advancing. Extacking 4.0 technology pushes the density of storage units to 320 million per square millimeter, and engineers jokingly call it building a skyscraper on the tip of a needle. When American analysts tried to reverse engineer the Kirin 9010 chip of Pura 70, they found that its key structural line width had reached 3.2 nanometers, and its performance was improved by 42% over the previous generation. This chip, which was overclocked with DUV equipment, has become the most hardcore declaration of China's semiconductors. 3. Huang Renshuan's Late Night Call and Future Battlefield 
In April 2025, NVIDIA CEO Huang Renshuan was exposed to call ASML in the early morning and asked to reevaluate the terms of equipment maintenance for China. What triggered this shock was the performance of Huawei's Ascend 920 chip in the Shenzhen Intelligent Computing Center. 384 clusters trained a large model with more than 7 trillion parameters in a single day, and the computing power partially surpassed NVIDIA's NVL72 system. What makes Silicon Valley even more uneasy is that the dynamic nano-scheduling function of the Hongmeng Next system can adjust the chip microarchitecture in real time like conducting a symphony. On the shore of Songshan Lake, the lights in Huawei's carbon-based chip laboratory were on all night. On the glass wall, next to the slogan Breakthrough from 5 nanometers to 3 nanometers leading, a new handwriting of Ren Jingfei was added, We want to create another track. While the world is still fighting for the 2 nanometers process, Chinese engineers have set their sights on the more distant stars, the theoretical computing power of the hybrid architecture of graphene and platinum sulfide is quietly growing in the laboratory. On the trial production line in Dongguan, the engineering machine equipped with the Kirin 9030 chip is undergoing final testing. This chip, which uses an equivalent 5 nanometers process plus 3-layer stacking technology, has a transistor density of 201 million per square millimeter. Engineers at SMIC know that behind the 33% initial yield are gold wires thinner than a hair and nanoscale solder joints calibrated millions of times. When the morning light dyed Shenzhen Bay red, a line of data flashed on the corridor screen of Huawei Semiconductor Research Institute. China's semiconductor equipment localization rate soared from 3% to 45%, and 2,000 companies joined the Debutification Alliance. This string of numbers is just like the dense circuits on the chip, seemingly small, but it connects the breakthrough and transcendence of an era. Just like the DUV lithography machine that roared all night, the story of China's chips has never stopped. From the dawn of 5 nanometers to the dawn of 3 nanometers, this journey to climb the Everest of science and technology is not only rewriting the process numbers of chips, but also redefining a nation's right to speak on technology.